SLT is a system landscape transformation is a specific tool which is used for the specific purposes. You will you see a very less use of SLT. Uh, SLT is would be basically used. We are basically from one HANA database. Sorry, from from ECC, we want to move the data into the HANA database. And that place you would be seeing that SLT tool has been used. SLT was created by one of the company and later on it was acquired by SAP. This was used a lot in initially when the HANA database was uh, launched and HANA database, you remember our first or second session where I explained you the, the journey of uh, HANA, right? HANA was introduced as a HANA database. And then later on, uh, SAP started developing the application on HANA database. So when HANA was used and HANA was used for analytics as a sidecar, at that time, when you need to have your main car, when your main car is ECC, on any X database system, and you want to move to, you want to move to HANA DB, only for analytic purpose, this scenario nowadays we are not starting with, but a lot of company has adopted, they are still continuing with, but uh, starting from 2010, when HANA was introduced, this was used, HANA was used as a analytics, so in this case, for your reporting purpose, we are using HANA, functionality of HANA. So we need to bring a specific tables from ECC, okay? Uh, we want to do the specific reporting. Specific reporting requires specific table. Let's say we need an EKKO table. We need EKPO table. We need VBAP table. So those tables, these tables can be brought by SLT, which is embedded on ECC itself. Okay, and this SLT would be able to push the data, EKQO, EKPO, VBAP data into the HANA database. This is a table level replications. SLT has a functionality, it would be able to transform the one-time data from table to table, or you can also do the live replications where any changes is happening to the uh, database table in ECC, that data would be brought to HANA. You created a new purchase order, you deleted a purchase order, you did the delivery against the purchase orders, your tables got updated. As soon as it updated in ECC, it will also bring the data into the HANA. And from here, you would be generating your analytics and reporting. Now we are going to discuss the next topic is the embedded analytics. Embedded analytics is available in S4 HANA itself with Fury. So this approach is not required. But this approach is called uh, the sidecar approach, which got very famous from 2010 to 2016, 17, 18. This was a famous approach to do the analytics. So this is how SLT can also be used. System landscape transformation. 